So hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a video player and a flutter. So let's get started. First of all, I created a new project. So I will just delete this. And we are going to use a new flutter package. So let's search for video player. And I'm going to use this one. Go to installing, copy this. Go to pubspec.yaml file, paste it in here, and save your file. Wait until it's finished download. Go back to readme, and let's copy this. Create a new file in here called video underscore amp dot dart and let's import the material dot dart package it gonna be a stateful widget I will name it video amp just like that and instead of this container in here I will just paste my code let me import the packages Import this one also and this one. Copy the name of this class and put it as home in here. Don't forget to import it. And now let's run our application. So here it is, and I got an error. It's because I didn't add a scaffold for it, so let's just wrap it by a widget, change the scaffold, and add a body for it. Let's save it now. So it worked. You can change the video from here. You can play the video, so once you play it, it's going to be full screen. I will explain why. Let's stop it. I will explain the code and details. So we need to initialize a video player, a widget from Flutter, and you need to import for that the video player package. This video player take a list called network player, and you need to initialize the video that you want in it. So initialize a network video that take an ID, name, name of the video, and the video URL and thumbnail for URL. You can add also a video control. So once I pressed on play, it it changed to full screen because we initialize it to true in here. So I'll just change it to false. And if you didn't initialize it, it's by default false. So now I will create a new file called video underscore implementation dot dart. I will import the material package. I will change the look of this scaffold. It will gonna be a stateful widget. I'll name it as video2. Amp. and instead of this one I will return a scaffold that take a body and return a list view dot builder but first of all let's create a new map in here so let's initialize it so list map it will take string object let's close it and give it a name of list like that and for this i will just copy this argument Go back to here, 
initialize it like that. I will copy the whole contents or some of the contents. Go back to here also. Same for that. I will copy one, one more. Paste it in here. And we need to do this as string. So I'll just add the, just like this. And we need to add a colon in here. And we need to delete this, just like that. So this list view, it will take an item count. So underscore list dot length. And it will take an item builder. It will take a build context and name it CTX. And it will take an index of type int. And it will return a video player. This one. So we need to import the package and it will take a network videos of network video and we need to give it an ID of the list index and in here the ID just like that we need to add the name this the video URL and thumbnail URL. Let's copy this, paste it in here and here. Format our code. Let's change this ID to name and here to video URL and do the same for this. Let's copy our class name, return it on instead of this one. Don't forget to import it. Let's save our application or restart it. So here it is. So you can optimize it as much as you want. You can add some text views. You can, you can do anything that you want. So see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. See you in the next video.